What's up everybody and welcome back to another server Saturday. My name is Potato and these are builds on Mongoose Country, which is the official vanilla server of Team Mongoose. And uh, the first build that we're going to check out today is from Sea Moose, and it's just called Clay Castle. Apparently he started this back in March. He forgot what it was supposed to be, so now it's a castle. So that's, <laughs> that's roughly about it. Um, I guess he claimed this land probably because uh, I believe Mesa biomes were were brand new to us um, when we started this map, and uh, so everybody was on the on the search for finding a Mesa biome, and uh, he probably just came over here, claimed it, and then forgot what he was gonna do, uh, like most of us do, and uh, and then never never came back. So, anyways. Uh, you actually warp the warp is actually set up in front of the castle But I saw like this little dock area and everything down here. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna start down here I'm gonna pretend that I took this boat that was here when I got here That's totally my boat cuz I that's how I got here and uh, and go off of here and uh, Here you know what yeah, you can have all of this stuff all of these things that I have and uh, All right, let's let's get moving Got a tiny little farm, some reeds, mushrooms, which is a really odd thing to see here in a mesa biome. Some horses with some armor and wheat. I'm going to take this wheat and I'm going to feed it. Oh, I'm in creative. So there you go. Here's a whole bunch of baby mushrooms, baby sh baby moose, and you guys can have that one. Please do not build in this area. Sea moose. Love sea moose. So I assume this is probably his little um, home that he used. Dig Diggerer, Diggerer. That's that's hard to say. Wouldn't that make more sense if it was shovels? Hey, cool diamond boots. More like potatoes diamond boots now. Perfect. I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Got my walking boots on. Bunch of clay. Enchanting room. Cool. I like this design that you were doing. With the, um, I don't know, I guess you can't really call them windows, but I'm gonna call them windows. Windows! I like, I like the window thing. That's cool. So, <clears throat> there's nothing else down there from what I can tell. Unless there's something underground and I don't know how to get into it. But then there's some stairs all the way up here. And before we go in, I want to look at this, uh, crazy minotaur looking statue. I love the fact that a lot of people are making statues and stuff now. I'm gonna start making statues because this looks cool. The only problem with that, that I have with statues is that most of the time their feet look really tiny, you know? And seeing as how a minotaur is part bull, um, you should have hooves, not not toesies. You shouldn't have toesies. That is, that is uh, n notorious for minotaurs. Look at that flat butt. He's got a shelf butt. That's what he got, uh, a reverse shelf butt. Okay, let's get into this castle. Got some lapis. I like the contrast of lapis on that. Whoop, oh, I forgot. I'm in uh, creative. I need to get myself out of this. I was in creative because I was, I was messing around with um, everybody the other night on here. And we were doing some crazy stuff in the arena. Which I think that we're going to do for like the last weekend that uh, this map is up. Which is next weekend, by the way. If everything goes uh, correctly, I'm just going to walk around and talk a little bit about uh, the reset and everything since uh you know it's it seems to be like if you could see it you know what it is build you know right now anyways or sit mod plugin thingy that'd be pretty cool but um the reset is upon us and uh 1.8 and that looks really cool is right around the corner and by about around the corner i mean saturday i believe the 14th is next saturday and, um, oh shoot, that's Valentine's Day, isn't it? Huh. Weird. Okay. Uh, whatever. So Valentine's Day weekend, uh, we're hoping to be on 1.8 by then. We haven't tested any of our plugins yet, but, uh, we're in the works on that. And, uh, our map is currently being built. The spawn map is being built by Waking Danny, um, Mad Cat Panic, and I Has Magic, I believe? Are the three people working on it right now? Um, and I've seen a very early version of it, and it looks very cool. So um, I'm very excited to see how it's going to end. Little picture frames and stuff like that. And kung fu. Kung fu painting over here. 
Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm very excited. Uh, Bruce and Pete are working on a new version of our NPC plugin. However, they ran into a small roadblock where they can't use, um, like the Steve figure, like our, our people. So we're going to go back to the villagers and make sure that that works. And hopefully we'll have our NPCs up day one. If not, it'll just be a little longer. I promise. Um... I've paid to make, uh, to have a couple plugins made. Well, actually, no, just one plugin right now. A couple of other ones are kind of in the works, in the, in the, in the ether, if you will. Um, but one of them is, uh, our new donation plugin or whatever from Devin, aka Turk Melon, who's the lead dev over at the Nexus and a good friend of mine. And, uh, this place looks cool. Dang. I like it. I like. I've always liked mixed match stuff. Like if there was some sort of pattern to the to the to the craziness, it, it looked cool to me. But you know, if it's just a bunch of random blocks thrown together, then it just kind of looks odd. I like the giant goo throne. All hail the goo. Or is it praise goo? I don't know. We we've given that life up. But maybe not. Uh, maybe maybe not. I, I I don't know where I was going with that. Um, I am actually currently 40% somewhere around there uh, edited on the first S&P episode. So that should be coming out. This I would probably be done with the first four episodes if the first episode wasn't an hour and a half long. But um, it is taking a long time to get through that first one. So I most definitely need to edit those down. Uh, because goddamn, that is, that is too long. Too big. So maybe the first episode will be crazy. Really long, but then after that, bathroom. What's up? Very cool. Let's check out the dumper. All right. Oh, fell in the toilet. That happens a lot when we close that. Give it a good flush. <laughs> I feel like if this wasn't already up and you came up here and you did your business, and then you hit the flush button and it just smacked it into the back of the toilet, that would just be that's a bad toilet design, right? That's just bad. You assume bathtub, right? Because over here I saw no water, so I was like, okay, a hole. A hole where you just you stand in and hope that bathroom things happen. You never know. You never know. Good, good day. And uh, so, yeah, we have all of that going. It seems like we can be up and going by next weekend. There, there's not a whole lot holding us back right now. Everything seems to be working. And I say that right now, but this next week is going to be all the testing and configuring and everything like that. Another uh, side note, I like the snow block. Oh, excuse me, I, I burped there for a second. Um, I like the snow blocks with the uh, the layer of snow on top to make it look kind of above. Oh, and you even have carpet on top of this too. That's pretty cool. I guess, uh, oh, maybe this is two layers of snow then. That's cool, that's not bad. From the naked eye, it just looks like uh, an old bed. Very cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, from from right now, everything looks fine. Everything's working great. Everything is actually... It's actually surprising like how well things are actually going right now. Aside from the NPC issue that we had, and really that wasn't a problem with me. Um, like, Pete and, um, and Bruce were just trying to make their plugin better. So they were... Um, we, had, we need to keep going up. No, we went up. Is there more stairs after, up here? Did I miss some stairs? I did. I missed some. No, wait. No, that's the bedroom stairs. I don't have fly. Um. Oh. Ah, oh. So the bedroom's the top floor. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I missed this. Hey, look. It's a little slime head. Is it a slime head? It's probably a slime head or someone's Minecraft head. I know a lot of people use that. Jevin, my buddy Jevin, he uses a slime head. Um. I think Pizza Hut also uses a slime head. A lot of people use slime heads. Um. Seamus may use a slime head. That may be his his face up there. I don't know. I, I can't remember what Seamus's uh, skin was. But uh, what else are we talking about? Are we talking about anything else? No, just plugins, stuff like that. Everything seems to be um, going uh, swimmingly right now. But like I said, it's, it, the, the NPC thing just seemed to be like Bruce and Pete were trying to make it better. You know, take it to the next step. But right now is not the time for testing. Right, time, right now is the time for getting things done and get going to 1.8. So anyways, that's Seamus's place. Looks pretty cool. It looks like there was a lot of room to uh, to expand on. 
but uh, just either didn't have the the uh, the will to do so or the time to do so. Either way, pretty cool looking build. And another little slime head right here. We can see that. Look at that. That must be Seamus's face. I'm pretty sure I remember him having a slime face, and I say that having a terrible memory. All right, so here we are over at Don't Shoot's place. This is called Arcton Keep. And uh, we are using the red texture pack, 128 texture pack, and Seuss shaders. Not the ones that he linked me, because he linked me ones with motion blur. And uh, no, not going to do that. Not going to do that to my viewers. No motion blur, no depth of field. No thank you. But uh, I did pick up the ultra one that has those features removed. And uh, that's what we're using. So um, he just says uh, the description of this place is one of the last great strongholds from a time far gone. And um, <clears throat> from the overhead, it looks awesome. It looks really cool. And it's nighttime right now, but it's actually almost almost daytime. So uh, I'm going to let it play out because uh, actually with shaders, nighttime, not so bad. Looks pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to open up his chest here. He has a couple of diamond swords, some leather, and a book, and a map. And he's, his sign here says, I apologize for the grammar on my book, uh, but not really. And uh, so I don't know if we got to keep this book with us. No, Ar Arcton Keep is a relic from a time long forgotten. Long ago, the world of Minecraftia was ravaged by plague and petty wars. In order to combat and defend against foes, human and mob alike, Many castles similar to Arton, Key, Arcon, Arton uh, were created. The turmoil that Minecraftia was eventually overturned when the King of Mobs, Herobrine, was dethroned. A lasting peace has settled over the land. Many of the great castles have fallen, leaving only the three sisters left standing. Arton Keep, Erebero Arab, Hold, and Redmont. Stronghold. <laughs> The last mighty outer defenses of Arcton have fallen, giving way to small but happy mining village. The great forges, once used to craft cannons and swords, now export metal goods to faraway lands. Even the armored shipyard has been converted to a sprawling trade dock. Arcton Keep remains a stark reminder of history less kind. Arabel Hold and Red Monster Hold coming next map change. All right, cool. So we get to see the other keeps later on, but right now, we're over here at Arcton, or Arcton, I don't know. I'm going to call it Arcton because that's that's the way my brain keeps pronouncing it. And it's almost daytime. It's dawn. Dawn is upon us. So it's perfect time to go around and check out the place because uh, hopefully less mobs will be here. So we have a giant archway that we walk into and a couple of buildings here in the beginning. So let's, uh, let's pop on over here and check out the left side first. No signs to what this is, so I assume it's probably someone's home. Hopefully the shaders don't bother people too much. It's like I've mentioned the last time we used shaders, 60 frames a second should be fine. And uh, it should be less swimmy for people. No, that's, uh, that's a problem. And speaking of don't shoot, he just fell from a high place. Going down here to the shipyard, which is now a trade dock. I love the water in shaders. I still, I just absolutely love the water. I don't like it when it's flowing down like this. I feel like if there's more than like three blocks of water that are vertical and aren't touching other water blocks, it should have some sort of other effect or something, you know? And I say that from someone who has no coding experience and has no idea how difficult it is to even do that. So, uh, but I think that it should happen. So it should happen. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Got some wheat and I think that was a coal block. Looks like a typical trade ship. Looks pretty sweet. I think these are supposed to be chains going up. <clears throat> At least that's the only thing I can really think that it would be is probably chains, but I don't know if they would have a chain going between two of the masts. They would probably have ropes, but these really don't look like ropes to me. Maybe really big ropes. Really, really big ropes. I don't know. And uh, let's pop into the captain's quarters. Oh, it looks awesome in here. Got your war table and all the paintings and stuff. It really does look better with shaders. It's a little bright, like the bloom is a little much, but um, still, pretty cool. 
And that's that's probably because it's daytime. And Seuss, Seuss shaders, they're they have a problem with being way too bright during the day. And that's that's that seems to be a problem with a lot of um, a lot of shaders. Like right here, when you're looking into the sun, sure makes a lot of sense. Man, that's bright. But I mean, when I'm looking away from the the the, the sun, it just it looks too bright. I think I've mentioned that before, before when I've used shaders in the past. Uh, I've always mentioned that. Here, what is this? Got like a giant ball of coal? Maybe that's just hauling a thing of coal? Some strap down of some goods over here to West Battery. West Battery. Not there yet. And a giant wheel. I will say though, bigger texture packs really do make Minecraft feel big. Like, this feels like a very big water wheel to me, and, um, I know that it's not. I know that it's not. That's only four or five blocks tall from the middle, but it just feels big because there's so many more pixels on the screen. So, um, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Let's go to West Battery? No? No. No, let's not go to West Battery. Let's, let's do the main stuff first, and then we'll check out all the satellite stuff. Let's pop back in here cool fountain very cool fountain I like I like these builds that are built into the landscape or what it seems like the landscape you know um, this place seems to be like a peninsula that was here and um, he, he just built around it you know carved his way through and I like that I like that that really brings more to the, the feel of the place you know what is it? To Arcton Keep, to Forest, to Quarry, the Lumber Mill, to Forest, Arcton Keep. Hmm. Okay. A couple more houses over here. Got a tiny one. A little baby house. Texture's still messed up in this in this version. But uh, you know, whatever. What are you gonna do about it? Ooh. Potatoes. Wow, those yeah, there's there's a lot of depth in higher res texture packs, man. Like, just looking at this is, it's probably not as jarring for everybody on YouTube, but for me, this is, this is very interesting. This is really making me double think, double, triple think, uh, higher res texture packs. And red is not so bad, it's just it has this, like, film grain over everything. I don't know if that was his way of, like, trying to blend stuff, but uh, I don't like it. I don't like the film grain. Never liked film grain in, in video games. Uh, I'm not a big fan of film grain, even in films. I know it's a very nostalgic part of films, and like a lot of filmmakers, they like to digitally put in the film grain again. I, I'm not a fan, but uh, you know, creative choices for different creative people. I just like the way inside of these places look. Like it just feels like there's, there's atmosphere in here now, you know? It doesn't feel empty. Lifeless is, a, is probably a better term. I'm just like looking at random stuff like like this is nothing uh, Intriguing, but I was just like I, I don't know why it, it's, it's a texture pack in the shaders I think that's just it's throwing me for a loop right now But that's good. So hopefully it's throwing you guys all for a loop, too I don't know what this is, but I'm curious to find out later I got a mine I'm not gonna go down in there, but you guys can see what's going on uh, I do want to I was gonna go check out what the coal blocks look like because there was it looked like there's some mit mapping or something on them, but uh, pretty sure it's just my my mind, my eyes playing tricks on my mind. There you go, I'll go with that one. What's over here? Is this the exit to Frost Queen Trixie's place? The Frost Queen is here. Oh my, I'm not dressed for the occasion. I am just a mine a miner with a pink shirt and diamond boots. He didn't steal from two different places. I think I'm just gonna start collecting things now when I go on Server Saturday, and I'm just gonna have a place full of them. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just start stealing stuff on the next map. So be prepared, everybody who is showing their builds in Server Saturday. I will steal your things. Uh, direct line to harbor. Well, I can't ride that. Bye bye. I'll see you later. I didn't, was there, no, that was my inventory. I was gonna say, was there lapis in there? But no, that was me. So we'll see him later, I'm sure. Oh, we got a sign over here. 
Mind store. Ah, okay. Cool. Basic needs. 10,000 cheese. <laughs> uh, uh, who, who, saw, who saw the Assassin's Creed Let's Play with Terry and I? Because uh, cause you know. You know. You know about the, uh, the, the, the grind. The cheesy grind. Terry and I are actually in the middle of recording another series, but... Gonna, he seems to be home. He seems to be awake right about now. Today's the day. After I'm recording this, I'm gonna text him. I'm gonna do that. Swain wheat. That's another thing I really like about shaders. It brings life to all the, all the, all the plants and everything like that. I, I, I mention this every time I use shaders, guys. The only time I ever use shaders is when I do, when I film these because people recommend or more you know, ask me to, and I want to show off their build in the best way that I possibly can. If they say to use shaders, I'm going to use shaders. Uh, but, uh, you know, I won't have motion blur or depth of field on. And, um, I don't know, maybe it's just a Seuss one. I thought I thought other ones, they, they all kind of, like, went together. They all swayed at the same rate, and I hated that. But these ones, they, they're kind of random a little bit. I like that. Very cool. I'm, I'm not really digging the leaves, though, when leaves jiggle. Because... They jiggle, sure, but I mean they they break themselves like this, you know. Whatever. That's just me being me, you know. What's this? Shanene the horse. All right, very nice. Oh, and dead horse. Shanene and a dead horse. Oh, I'm sorry, you have no friends. Not gonna get a good look at the castle from down here, but hopefully you saw it on the flyby. And it looks like my lighting is broken a little bit over that way. But that's okay. Get a waterway. Oh. Oh, it's the oh, it's the inside of the tower. Pretty cool. Not bad. And I assume the same over here. Yes, it is. I'm putting two two together. Got a waterfall and some lava. The my lava is not really. I'm lighting up like it should be. Got storage down here. I assume storage. I don't know why else he would have a hole like that with a bunch of chests under there. Under there. That's not lighting properly for me for some reason. Maybe update it? Nah, it didn't really do anything. But I do like too with, with shaders. You can hold a torch and it lights up your way. That's super cool. I'm just gonna hold on to this then. Whoa! That lava is bright. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like um, like uh, when they pour metal down into to forge it or uh, into molds. You know? I guess not lava. Molten molten metal into molds. Make other stuff. Pretty cool. can't even make out what's going on down there but it looks pretty neat I like all the furnaces I like all the all the care in each one of the rooms how it kind of each one has its own personality its own feel to central hub okay we'll go there in a minute let's check out the library real quick it's where the beacons at the library I assume plants in the walls another idea that I've really have recently fallen in love with. Saw a lot of that on, um, whose server was I on? Uh, I can't even remember. Some guy I don't, I don't really know of. I know the name, but, uh, most of the time I don't, apparently. Looks like it's about to be nighttime again. I like the library, I like all the paintings. The paintings in, in, in texture packs with shaders and stuff, I, they, they feel like they're they're in the room more you know it's just when you put torches in, in the painting like this that kind of ruins it I'll just put a couple there for you and burn the paintings from below that'll work great and also these lamps just came on which is awesome that is super cool oh that one just popped on not bad it's very cool I like this place feels cozy in here, except for there's like nothing in the middle of the room. Except for 
a carpet that's supposed to look like a boat. There's boats on the carpet. Better look out if you're allergic to boats. Don't go into the library. Go down and back out and let's go to the central hub. Which is, I guess, downstairs. Oh, neat. Let's just keep going down. I'm not a big fan of spiral staircases, but I'd rather have those than ladders. These ladders are boring. There was a record here until someone stole it. There's a whole bunch of records here, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoop. How about a potato? Can we listen to the potato? There you go. You can have that back. Um, that's actually kind of cool. I like the glowstone right above a fireplace. Old South Shipyard. Oh, excuse me, I'm I'm yawning quite a bit. I'm I'm filming this almost immediately after waking up, and I'm I'm still fighting that cough. The cough is still around. That's probably why I sound a little different, because I'm I'm fighting it as I'm talking. It's the worst thing in the world. I've had it for like a month and a half, two months. It's, just, it's not going away. Enchanting room. A wither skull, two wither skulls, and a Steve. A Steve one. How'd you get the Steve one? Can you get that legitimately? No? Is that, is that... Am I just... Am I just... Goofing? I think I'm just goofing. That's probably what it is. I'm just... I'm making up stuff, too. Got some nether wart, melons, carrots, all the things you need for brewing the potions that you love to drink. It's so weird seeing water so smooth on its way down, you know? It's like a mirror. You can almost use it as a mirror. You can for stuff on the ground here, which is one of my more favorite things that they added with shaders, the, the reflecting of environments. Officer's apartments. Who's this? Officer, ah, oh, it's me! That's who it is. Of course, grab a potato and come on in. The carpet is, is soft and the fire is warm. And my room is empty. <laughs> and my closet. Ah, with, with water. I have a water I have a water feature in my closet. That's how ballin I am. I'm like, yeah, now bring all the water to my room. Install some water in my closet. That's what I want. Across from me is who? Officer Puddles. I'm hearing a lot of chickens in here though. You got a chicken room? Where's the chicken room? The illegal chicken room. It's wrestling them chickens. I hear you, dude. Hmm. What is, uh... Oh, man, he's got a bigger... A bigger room here. What does he have? There's a water bucket. Alright. Well... <laughs> oh, because he's... It's, it's puddles. I get it. I'm, I put two to two together. It's puddles. <laughs> Look at this dude. We've probably seen him a billion times by now, but it just now caught my eye. Look at this guy's face. Eh, whatever. Officer Jose, he's got the chicken. Feathers? Okay. Oh, the chickens are in his place. Oh, and they're trying to avoid being cooked! Ah, oh, you, you, you madman. Look at them all in the corner. Don't die now, chickens. Yeah, there you go. Jose likes his, his chickens cooked uh, immediately. Just cook them immediately. Just grow them, grow them and dump them in fire. Some fried things. Officer Sniper Goo. What does Sniper Goo got? He's got gold. Of course he's got gold. Let's, let's give him a wide smile. He likes gold so much. Ryan's place. About the same more water here. Oh, I can see my reflection on my hand. That's cool. Oh, look at that. But you can't see the whole reflection of you. That sucks. Alright, so I think uh, that's the all the officers. Not bad. I like, uh, I like this central hub place. Not bad. I and the table's cool in the middle, but there's no chairs around it. So it makes me feel like it's not really a table for, you know... Important things? I don't know. South, South Shipyard, I think we've already been there. Let's go to the forge. I'm trying not to get lost in here, you know? Oh, this is the bottom of the place that we saw from up top. Okay. 
I like all the lava dripping down from up above. That is cool. I like how bright they are. I feel like they would actually give off light, too. I wonder if they do. If you put them, like, right next to a wall, if it gives off light. There's furnaces. And, uh, oh, that might be the south shipyard. The one in the back, which we haven't been to. But we've seen this, you know. So let's go to the, let's go through the other side of the wall here and see. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right, so we haven't been here. Very cool. It looks like we got a staircase that leads back up to the castle. We didn't get to the top of the castle yet, but we'll do that after the shipyard. All right, let's take the stairs down and stairs down. Nice. Got melons over here. Sweet boat. What is this? Grounded galleon is empty. Is it grounded? Is it is it grounded like it it was it got in trouble so its parents grounded it or is it grounded because it's it's on the ground? Because it's not. There's plenty of water underneath it. Wow, that looks way deep. Got oh, it's a crane. That's what it is. It's a crane carrying. Some sort. Oh, it's a cannon. It's carrying a cannon. Okay, I was gonna say, why? Why is it holding a a, a long bar of coal? Is that, is that is that how you measure coal bars? No, nah, what it, it doesn't matter. It's a cannon. Look at it. It's a cannon. Got more shipment stuff, and we got a big boat over in the back over here, which looks abandoned pretty much is so we're not gonna go to that that, that is a cool view that's not bad yeah we haven't even seen that thing yet have we so let's pop back inside I want to I want to check out uh, this this way over here oh cannons okay more cannons and down where does down go a lot of places to go in this place a lot of places in this place oh there's the minecart cool Direct line to Cory. Now, if one were to get a minecart and bust up your minecart and lose your chest, could could I ride this back to the front? No, because I can't get to the button. There we go. All right. Not bad. Oh, okay. Well, we go through the wall a little bit. That's fine. Oh, there's a bunch of levers down. Oh, these must be... Oh, maybe they're powering the tracks underneath me. This is pretty cool. Except for the fact that I'm getting pelted in the face with a lever. Look at this, we're in the front. All right, cool. Not bad. I mean, part of me wanted to come to the front, uh, and another part of me wanted to go visit the castle, but I think that the best way to get to the top of the castle is probably through the front again. So, why don't we do that? So we went left and right. We went in the back, because that's the central hub. That goes down. I want it to go up. And the only place that I know where there's an up is over here. Where you go up, uh, this. And I thought that this would just be like guard entrances to the different spires. The different turrets. Which it seems to be right. Yeah, why Why can you just drop down through here? Is that supposed to be like a quick exit? Yeah, over here too. The heck? Oh, it looks pretty cool though. We got a bunch of pumpkins and stuff over that way. It looks like we need to go visit the Ice Queen. Um, because it doesn't, from what I can see, it doesn't look like we can get to the top or no. Oh, it's just It's just really vaulted ceilings is all. That's all the top is. Okay. All right, cool. So we're going to fly out over here. Whee! Whoa, let's, let's avoid the mine. And go see, uh, go see Trixie. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually a build or if you just point, put that as, like, you know, just part of the lore of the, the castle. But there is a path, and there are torches, and I'm walking toward it. I see something bright over there. It looked like lava. Just cruising down the path here. Okay, there's something over here. Um, 
But what is it? We have trees. Oh, there's a bridge down there. Coal. Oh, there is a building over here. Okay, but how do I get up into this thing? Do I just climb up the rocks? No. No, it doesn't look like he wants me to climb up the rocks. But the path did just lead me here. It leads me here. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we go down this way. Just down more rocks. I want to see what this bridge is about. Whoop. Okay, so we have an empty nothingness over here. Oh, I like the support beams. That cool. The abandoned part of the thingy saving the idea for point eight. Uh, okay. So I guess he's gonna finish this for in 1.8. That would make sense. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of extra stuff in 1.8. This is probably a dumb idea. Helper Sidster. My boy Sidster over here helping him out. Okay, well, uh, I'll just save that. I'm, I'm just gonna assume that this build was something that they were testing out. It didn't really come to fruition because it doesn't look like it's finished. Got stairs that go up to this thing. And then more stairs going up to the top bit that I was going to try to walk up to, which I wouldn't be able to because it's here. And um, so I assume that, yeah, this was probably a test to see if they could do it in 1.7. Then they realized, well, maybe maybe we'll wait for some of the items in 1.8. So, uh, and this video has gone on pretty long. I want to get it out sometime today. So I'm going to go. Thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of Service Saturday. I appreciate everybody being here and sticking through all the way to the end. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you will, and uh, all of that fun stuff. I will say that there is a forum thread up on Mongoose Country, uh, or in the Mongoose Country section of, uh, of the Team Mongoose forums talking about the reset to 1.8 and uh, all of the plans for that, talking about name changes, what happens if you did change your name already, what happens if you haven't and you want to, and all of these things. All of that information is available on the forums. I highly suggest you go check it out. I will leave a direct link to the thread in the description below. But if you are not a countryman on the forums, which may be a thing of the past, I may just actually drop um, that part of the forum because I really don't like having to manually add people to the forum uh, because it's just it takes too much time and and. I'd rather, it, it, the, the information there is not information that everybody can't see. So, uh, I may just drop the fact that countrymen are the only ones able to see that part of the forum, but the, uh, the only ones able to comment, maybe. Maybe that's what I'll do. That way we keep, uh, the Mongoose Country talk to just Mongoose Country members. So you have to sign in if you, if you haven't yet. Make a new account. If you, uh, if you made one in like the last eight months or so, the accounts were lost from uh, our major, major setback from our databases being corrupt and uh, just horrible, horrible things happening. So if you haven't yet, also we didn't go check out the left side of this, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Um, make sure to create your account so if you try to log in, you're like, what the heck, I had an account and now it's gone. That's the reason why. So go ahead and do that. You can PM me on there. If you need countrymen back, I thought this was a window at first. And uh, all of that good stuff, I highly recommend you go read the thread and uh, and check it out because there's a lot of good information there. Piston pump for forge bellows directly above. Oh, very cool. Interesting, so we would have missed that. So anyways, guys, I will see you next uh, Saturday for, I think there's two more builds that I haven't seen that are submitted. If you guys have a build on Mongoose Country and you want it to be shown, please submit it because I am not going to make any more after the next Saturday. Um, we'll be moving to 1.8, and from there, we'll have to wait for a couple of builds to come on in, so maybe I'll do something different this time around. Maybe we'll do like a Let's Play server Saturday, where I'll just uh, stream uh, playing on, uh, on Mongoose Country for the first couple Saturdays to give people time to build stuff. And uh, I don't know, that, that's an idea that I literally just came up with right now. I have no idea how well it'll work, but let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be a fun idea. And uh, I will see you guys later.